Hello, in this video, I am going to show you how to set up Flutter on a Linux based machine. I'm on Ubuntu, you could be on some other Linux based machine if you want to. If you are interested in setting up on Windows or Mac, feel free to check those videos out. I've made them as well. So, the first thing you want to do is open up a web browser, go to Google, and literally search for Flutter. Go to Flutter IO link. I'll provide links to everything so you don't have to manually type if you don't want to. Go to get started, select your operating system, which is Linux. Scroll down, click this button right here. This will download the Flutter file. Don't cancel it like the way I'm going to. I'm simply canceling it because I've already got it downloaded. Next thing we want to download is Android Studio, which we can scroll down and just click on here and click that. I have agreed, I have read and agree. Download, this will take a little longer because it's over a gig. And I'm going to cancel that again just because I've already got it downloaded. That's the only reason I've canceled it, just to save time. Now, we're all done with the web browser. What we can do is open up our download directory. And this studio is the Android Studio file. Yours will be named something like Android Studio. I renamed it to Studio. Same with Flutter as well. Flutter will be named with like the version name, etc. It's just easier to name it Flutter and Studio just because, you know, when we're dealing with it in the terminal shortly, it, it's just, well, a lot easier to type Flutter in compared to Flutter, you know, underscore Linux, underscore version, you know, whatever it is. So open up your terminal. If you don't have it there, you can go to all, you know, all applications and you'll be there somewhere. And open up your terminal. And what you want to do, is cd to the download directory i like to just drag over a file if i don't have the folder there and just do that you can also right click and open in terminal as well so from here we need to unzip our flutter folder we can do that by doing flutter flutter not flutter sorry we need to put tar xf and we need to put flutter dot tar dot xz and as you see a Flutter folder has been created we've got to wait it won't take very long at all and we've got to wait in a moment now it will be successful so once you get back to this where you can enter another command that means it's done so what you want to do now is copy this copy that and put it somewhere where you are happy with to have it as a permanent you know folder and permanent you know framework i put mine in the documents folder i create a folder called development and i've already got it there because i set it up before this video just to you know get the steps all nailed down and just paste the i've got it done so i'm not going to redo that so once you've done that what we want to do is now add it to our path and we can do that by going to the home directory and in here, you'll have a file called dot bash underscore profile. If you don't actually have this, you know, particular file, then let's create it. And make sure it's called dot bash underscore profile. There's no file name. It just has an extension of dot bash underscore profile. Open this in some form of text editor. And what you need to do is put export space path equals quotation marks dollar path colon and here is where you put the path to to flutter bin so you'll need to put you know this folder here you can right click go to properties you know just copy that and that will paste the folder minus one directory so you just put forward slash bin and that's the only difference that you'll see you know compared to mine is this directory will slightly differ because you'll probably have a different username you might not put in documents or the development folder but apart from that it's the same end it with a double quotation marks save it and now what we need to do is actually run the file in the command line so we can run that by by it's pretty simple to run it and we go back to our home and we can just literally drag that on here. But we want to navigate to the directory. Sorry, we want to do cd. 
and we can just drag this on to so navigate to this directory and do dot forward slash bash underscore profile why is this not running why is it not running oh sorry what you're meant to do is put source then the file and you could even do dot bash profile or just drag it like this that's what you meant to do okay now let's run it done it if we were to do flutter doctor now you'll run flutter and you'll say this is green this should have a green tick for you these two will most likely have a cross that is fine that's because we are going to set up android studio now i've already got it set up the connected device doesn't matter because we'll be using an emulator which will obviously technically be collected i mean connected later on also if you have a device you can plug that in have it in development mode and you can use that if you have any questions regarding the process of that feel free to pop me a message as well so let's now set up android studio so to set up android studio what you want to do is go to your download directory and you want to unzip this file here so to unzip the file all you need to do is navigate to this directory i'm going to do like this and type in unzip then the name of the file which is studio.zip click enter I'm not going to click enter because I've already, you know, got the folder there. But once you click enter, you'll get this Android Studio file, folder, sorry. So once you've got this, you want to open this and go to bin. And you want to run the studio.sh file. We can run that by doing cd, dragging on bin, click enter. And now we just open the studio.sh file by doing dot forward slash studio dot sh and it will look so this is how you launch up android studio it is launching it up right now you won't get this page straight away because it will actually bring up the setup wizard because i've already installed it so what you will want to do is just go through the setup wizard keep everything as standard it's pretty straightforward just keep you know click click and continue accept anything that he asks for and once you start it gets to the part where it downloads and installs android studio it will take a bit of time so just be patient you will also once it is completed and android studio launches you won't have this option that says start a new flutter project we need to set up flutter so go to configure settings go to plugins and go to browse repositories search for flutter as you can see here, it says install on Flutter. Mine doesn't have an install button. On your end, you will see an install button because you won't have installed it yet. So you just basically want to not click this install button, click the install button on the Flutter. It'll ask, ask you to accept it and make sure you like uh, ask you if you want to install Dart. Click yes for both. Once that's done, it'll say, do you want to restart the editor that's fine click restart click ok then it will restart it and once it restarts it start a new flutter project will be there and now we're actually ready to start a flutter project so click start click flutter application next you want to specify a application name you want to if there is no flutter sdk path and it's there's a little red warning saying can't find path you just click on the three dots go to wherever you put your flutter folder and literally just select the flutter folder click ok and that's it select the project location where you're going to create your your project and save it i'm gonna leave you on the desktop click next all of this can remain as default because this is just a setup video if you know what you're doing feel free to modify these settings click finish this will create your flutter project and launch up the android studio ide which will appear any moment now so i can click close and now what i'm going to do is just show you this project running so as you can see we've got no devices i'm going to create a emulator you can either click this button 
that says ABD Manager or go to Tools and go to ABD Manager. Either one is fine. So click this and click Create Virtual Device. Select Phone, TV, you know, Wear OS, Tablet, your choice. I'm just going to select Pixel 2, click Next. If it says Download, you can click Download, but if you go to x86 images, because you would will have installed an SDK by default when you installed Android Studio, you should have one in the x86 images right here. So you can just select that. If not, just click download on the latest one in the recommended section and go through the steps. But if you see that, select it, click next. And now what we want to do is go to emulated performance. You want to go to hardware because this is just faster performance compared to the software. You can change these settings, but it's just pretty simple stuff. And in advanced settings, you can choose how much you know, RAM it has by default, the SD card storage, whether it's a multi-core CPU, you can keep it by default, honestly. Click Finish. Now, if you click the Play button, and if you get any sort of error regarding this, it says, grant user access to forward slash dev kvm then what you want to do is open up your terminal you want to go to file new tab because we don't want to overwrite what's happening there when type in sudo apt install qemu dash kvm and put in your password even if you can't see it don't worry it is being typed and mine will probably be a little quicker than yours because I've already done this step before. You want to do sudo add user. And now you want to put your username. For me, it's Rahan. It is case sensitive, so bear that in mind. KVM. I'm already a member of it, so it's fine. And I just want to do sudo chown Rahan forward slash dev forward slash KVM. And now if I go back. And I run it. As you can see, it's. I can close this down now. And we just need to wait for this to successfully launch. It basically looks like a phone. And any moment now, we'll get the home screen for our emulator. And then we can run the application. As you see, this has also changed. So it's basically like a, a phone. So we have you know Google there, we've got you know got the browser. So we can run it by literally clicking this play button. And as you'll see, it'll run any moment now. These steps, they say initializing Gradle, resolving dependencies, Gradle task assemble debug. These will most likely take a little longer for you because it is the first time you're doing it. The first time you do it, it does take a little bit longer. So just bear that in mind. And that's it. And now this default app just counts how many times we click this button. And that's it. That's all there is to setting up Flutter on a Linux based machine so you can develop Flutter application for Android. If you have any questions about the KVM stuff, about Flutter, Android Studio, the Android SDK or any parts of it, because you know I always find the setup stage for most frameworks is the you know the, the most complex part because frankly sometimes the documentation isn't that beginner friendly, feel free to pop me a message and I will lend you a hand and I will help you set it up. As usual, I look forward to seeing you in the next video.